Now, whether Nirmala Sitaraman has done a very good job or a not so good job, that's not the point. Let's in fact focus on how the job might have affected her. <laughs> this is happy Nirmala Sitaraman before she became finance minister. And this is after she became the finance minister. <laughs> Call the week that wasn't. Sunday last, Djokovic won the Australian Open. We're telling you this because maybe you were busy last Sunday and had no idea. <laughs> now, obviously, they have to change the tournament's name. If you win a tournament ten times, ten times, it ceases to be called the Australian Open. It's now the Djokovic Open. <laughs> uh, importantly, Australia was open for him because last year they didn't let him in. <laughs> of course, there was some controversy with Djokovic's father, who inadvertently, not his fault, he took a picture with a guy who had a flag of Russia and a picture of Putin. And to be fair, uh, Djokovic Sr. is no supporter of Putin. Although, he's a fan of bare-chested men on horses, but it's a different thing. It's a Gopal looks so nice in that one. Speaking of bare-chested, Pamela Anderson... No, no, wait. Pamela Anderson's ex-husband, John Peters, left $10 million in his will for Pamela. That's $5 million per child. I think. If they're two children, then it's $5 million each. They were married for a total of 12 days, folks. Just 12 days. You see, everyone looks at marriage fondly if it ends in 12 days. <laughs> Speaking of money, Usain Bolt has fired his manager as 12.2 million US dollars of his invested by the manager on his behalf just disappeared. <laughs> Apparently, there was some miscommunication because Usain had told his manager to make the money grow. Uh, not to make the money go. <laughs> grow. But Jamaican. The, the, the Jamaican pato. They call it pato. You know, that language is a little difficult to master. <laughs> Ah, the union budget for 2023-24 was stable this week. Hey, pretty decent budget, right? Actually, I have no idea. I just need to mention budget so one doesn't look stupid at this weekend cocktail party. You know, people are... Budget ke baare mein tera kya hai? What do you feel? Soch, soch, that kind of thing. Just be in, be in with the people. Speaking of stupid, the Indian diaspora in UK protested against the BBC documentary on the PM. Technical issues, uh, they did not like the lighting. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, they don't show him in good light. Good light. I should read this now once it's rambling on like that. <laughs> India's under-19 women's cricket team has won the under-19 World Cup. Again, one week old. And the good news here, some of the girls are actually under-19. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, how do I know? Just kidding. So in the subcontinent, they say sometimes that, you know, people are not honest, but I'm not, I, I don't believe all that. Now, let's get to our budget expert, Dr. Matosh, for a reaction on this year's budget. Doctor, your view on the budget. <laughs> Doctor, doctor, do, uh, uh, what's wrong with him, yeah, guys? Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, doctor is very hungry. He has taken a stand, you know? He has taken a stand. Oh, he's taking a stand. He's fasting to protest the budget, is it? Uh, no, no. He's fasting because he can't afford the uh, provisions, you know? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Same thing. I get it. I get it. Uh, fair enough. Uh, let him talk, though. Hello, Zomato? What? What was that? What was that? Zomato? What, what was that? He's ordering from Zomato? What is that? No, no, no. He works there. He works there. He's still fasting. He's still fasting. He's not eating anything. Salad is the poster. Kya? Merely bhi kar de na hai. French fries. Two French fries. Oh, okay, okay. He's taking an order right now. Okay, fair enough. We won't disturb him. Uh, lots more coming up, but first the headlines. Union budget 2023, a closer look. Pakistan in economic crisis. And the UK Indians protest BBC documentary. Well, before we go into our top story, let's look at the facts. The BJP say it's the greatest budget ever. All right, the opposition says it's the worst budget ever. One thing that all our politicians have in common, honesty. <laughs> I appreciate that. But speaking about the tax brackets and how it affects you, the viewer, since most of you earn more than 100 crores uh, a year, I guess the tax tab doesn't affect you because you obviously don't pay tax. That's how you reach 100 crores. And don't lie, auntie, I'm watching you. All right, our top story. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. I don't know why I have to say it, because if you don't know she's Finance Minister, don't watch the show. Well, she tabled the union budget 2023-24 this week, and she said the government's focus remains on economic growth, Infrastructure, manufacturing, and creating votes. <laughs> oh, jobs! <laughs> Sorry. Jobs, jobs, creating jobs. Joining us now is the alleged spokesperson for the finance ministry. My lawyer has asked me to say this. 
This person is alleged. We have no idea whether these things are true because we don't do any verification. <laughs> Only the watchman checks if there's a bomb in the car or not. That's all. <laughs> Mrs. Urmila Sweetaraman. Yes, I am Sweetaraman, but don't be fooled by my name. All right, but your name is Sweetaraman. Yes. Uh, what does that mean? Meaning, my name may be Sweetaraman, but let's keep this short and sweet. Oh, by choice, by choice, of course. I'd actually like to take my own sweet time, though, if you don't mind. You seem like a child in a sweet shop. Well, I'd like to do it my own sweet way. Then I will leave and go to my home, sweet home. Okay, okay, stop sweeting about all this. Let's move on. Mrs. Sweetaraman, can we talk about the budget? Sure. I may be Sweetaraman, but there are no sweet deals in this budget. Uh, stop all this. Let's just discuss some details, please. Just bear with me. The FM announced a number of changes in the income tax slabs in this new tax regime. Let's go through that. Yes, sir, but that doesn't apply to you. Why? Because that is only for harness tax players. Well, that's... But I... I intend to, but I don't. But I intend to. Okay. You've raised taxes on some things, uh, for example, cigarettes. I mean, smokers will get upset because taxes on cigarettes, which are already high, have been increased by another 16%. To all the smokers who are upset, I say, look on the bright side. Prices of cigarettes may increase, but at least the size of your tumours will remain the same. I don't know if that's correct. Now, won't the tumours also increase when you smoke more? Isn't that the whole point? <laughs> Uh, anyway, I suppose most people would agree with all that, uh, that it's a good move to tax smokers because it's a vice, etc. Yes, but you know, we nearly did not. Uh, we actually were thinking of making the cigarettes tax-free. What? Why? We just thought, let them smoke, let them smoke. It will solve the population issue. May I just tell you, ma'am, after record, you don't smoke and die. It takes a long time. It's not like you're gone. So just, just be careful. Now, let's move on to disinvestment. Yes, this is investment. <laughs> FY24, this dis investment target is at rupees 51,000 crore. That's an ambitious sum. What large public sector entity would you sell to raise that kind of money, ma'am? We were planning on selling a very large, non profitable entity. Ah, which is that? The whole of Bihar. Okay, what else? What else? What else? Uh, uh, what, uh, allocation of 16,000 crore for smart city mission. What exactly is a smart city mission? It is an urban renewal program by the government of India to develop smart cities all across the country. Smart <laughs> cities across the country? Uh, go on. Yes, all across the country in Gujarat. Ah, all across the country in Gujarat. I know, I have to repeat it to understand it. I'm that stupid. So then what has become more expensive and what has become cheaper in your view? Uh, headphones have become more expensive. Oh, really? That's because every day music is getting cheaper and cheaper. Ah. Oh, munda sona, who mai, kudi tu karod di, tere liye mai ne phaili wali chhod di. Was that Tamilian Punjabi as a special different dialect which I have to master myself, folks, when we have time? In the meantime, just uh, uh, as a side note, isn't that a song from a film which starred one of the greatest actors who should never be seen on celluloid again, Kunal Vijaykar? <laughs> right. What else has become cheaper? Hey, yo, you have frozen muscles, squid and cocoa. But headphones have gone up, muscles, squid and cocoa have become cheaper. Who came up with this budget? Sanjeev Kapoor? Hey, I should ask him also. But there is good news for you. What, what, what? Most important good news is the PM Awas Yojana. Outlay was at 79,000 crore. It is now up to 66%. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, by the way, uh, what is the PM Avas Yojana? Yo, you don't know. It is initiated by government of India, which is for affordable housing, which will be provided to the urban poor. Achha, achha, achha. I see, I see. Ah. But it is not to be mixed up with the PM Avas Yojana. Avas Yojana? What is that? That is when the PM is giving a loud speech. Avas. Mitro. <laughs> Oh, okay, all right, all, all right, we'll stop there. We, we've been told we should stop immediately. This is it, we will stop here. But let's talk now to Senior Executive Vice President Marketing at our own company. 
whose name I won't divulge, <laughs> Mr. Mohanlal Matosh for his reaction on the budget. This is a man who's done a double MBA. He knows the economy like the inside of his hand. So let's talk to him. Matosh ji, sir. Bolo. Yeah, yeah. Your thoughts, uh, sir, your personal thoughts, your insights, your views, your philosophy on the budget as it was presented this week. Government has a promise free housing. But you already have a house. I want a second house. But you already have a second house, I'm told. But I want a third house. Well, one minute, I'm told you have three houses already. Then what does your father What does your father This is how double MBA talks on television. This is the way. Tell me about Corona. What the hell? You're supposed to be a great man. I'm sorry about this, folks. Uh, we'll get somebody else, I guess, to discuss the budget because so far the actors we've used, one can't hold the accent, and this I don't know where it came from. Uh, let's talk about Pakistan. Sad week for Pakistan, all kinds of tragic news. But let's focus on this one. Pakistan hikes fuel prices. True story. On the 29th of January, or 28th in Pakistan, days after the country's currency fell to its lowest level against the US dollar, and also after ignoring India's Republic Day, <laughs> Pakistan Finance Minister announced a huge unaffordable hike in fuel prices. So let's talk to Under Secretary of the Finance Ministry, Dr. Shabaz Sheikh Suleiman. Uh, Shabaz Bhai, is that you? Shh. <laughs> huh? What? What? Shh. <laughs> uh, what? Huh? Shh. <laughs> oh. Sh okay. Sh okay. Sh right. Right. Okay, well, SSS, I get it, I get it now. Well, SSS, I mean, what a huge hike. Look, first of all, you have to prepare for a moment. A moment, huh? I'll tell you. Well, it's a cultural thing. Oh, if you know what I mean. Cultural thing? I have no idea. Oh, brother, John, brother, just like India. We are obsessed with numbers. Ah, okay, now I get it. Culturally the same as India? Yes, I get that, I get that. So, go on, go on. So, if you are gonna do a hike, then it's important to play to the gallery, sway the masses. Sway the masses, I see. Oh, Janab, look at the records, jo toot gaye. Tor diye. Records? High speed diesel, 263 rupees. <laughs> okay. Petrol is 250 rupees. Well played. Inshallah, inshallah, mashallah. Kerosene oil is at 190 rupees. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Celebrating the, down with the common man? Light diesel is 188 rupees. Basically, spare no one. Yes. Oh, see, Bhaijan, how we made light into heavy. Halki cheese ko kaise mushtakil bhari banaya jai. Right, right. I find this amazing, your attitude, sir. But the result of all this is long lines everywhere. People are depressed, they're frustrated. People are asking questions, pointing fingers. They're stressed, they're anxious. I mean, they're coping with this badly. Dekhiye, sawaal ye hai ki hum jo hai, we are just copying a trick from India's. Well, hey, hey, what do you mean a trick of India's? What, what trick of, from India? Hum demonetization se bada ittafaq rakhte hain, janab. We are inspired with that. Achya, achya. You, you can say all that from there, you're safe. Uh, I won't agree with it, but, and I don't know if it's the same. Same, same, same. End result A ki hai, janab. People running around like headless chickens. Oh, jo murghe hote hai na, jay. Jo tandoori nahi hai, jo murghe. But headless. <laughs> you know, you're saying all this with a lot of empathy and sensitivity, but government but officials like yourself, you and bureaucrats, you guys are never affected. Everything is free for you guys. Only the poor common man, that's the person who's suffering. <laughs> oh, shukriya, Janab. Shukriya. India nahi sikha hai. You get me. <laughs> Sab aapi se sikh rahe, Janab. Shukriya. <laughs> why are you comparing everything to India? Your situation there is not exactly the same. Because I want to assure Indians that Pakistan fuel hike is a great news for India. Brother, I don't know what you're saying. Why? Why is it great news for India? Oh, Janab, terrorism. Terrorism will come down. Uh, Bhajan, how will terrorism come down? Oh, Janab, terrorists. Terrorists can no longer afford the fuel to go from Pakistan to India. Itni mushkilat bad jayengi, itni dhakkate bad jayengi, ki mushkil ho jayega terrorism. Yeah, I think we'll go for lunch break.
सेंचुरी बनाया शतक कंप्लीट इट्स अ गुड पॉइंट हाँ जी मैं तो आएगा वीजा शीजा की कोई टेंशन नहीं है मैं बॉर्डर क्रॉस करते दो मिनट में ब्रिंग मी अ हॉर्स प्लीज विल टेक अ ब्रेक एंड देन विल कम बैक हॉर्स बिकॉज यू कैन अफोर्ड फ्यूल आई दर साइड ऑफ द बॉर्डर इट डजेंट मैटर घोड़ा प्लीज घोड़ा वेलकम बैक लेट स्टार्ट विदी स्टोरी there isn't any i i i i was hoping but they told me there's no happy stories uh, the budget is good for a few people but they are not in india <laughs> now after sacking lots of jobs at google sundar pichai show picture please because he's really sundar in a show of solidarity he is taking a pay cut now i want to say something sundar ji if you're listening i want to say something to you you want to show solidarity give up the equity <laughs> give that up पगार पगार से कुछ नहीं होता इफ आई गिव अपनी इक्विटी इन सी एन बी सी टूडे वे वुड आई बी दैट्स राइट आई गॉट नथिंग आई गॉट डोंट इन आवर सैलरी सनमेन को मिलता है कभी कभी दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट विद द पेट्रोल हाइक्स भारत जोधो यात्रा क्लोजिंग सेरेमनी वॉज इन श्रीनगर दिस वीक बट द रीजन फॉर अ अर्ली क्लोज टू कोल्ड lots of the politicians walk bare feet and the feet are the first to get affected let me warn you that's why i tell all politicians who want to go for walks use your hands Good news Germany won't send war planes to Ukraine. Just saying last time if you guys remember the older people out there the last time Germany sent her war planes out into the world you know what happened. Just think about all these things you know history can repeat itself and that could be and I'm a big fan of Germany not then but now. Okay let's go back to this gentleman India's arguably India's greatest human being uh, Mr Matosh a professor by law uh, Mr Matosh uh, you're on standby let's go to you right now are you there Matosh ji what else uh, did you want from this year's budget for you personally wanted to pay less tax but you anyway pay less tax wanted to pay even less tax even less but i remember you telling me offline you pay no tax whatsoever you don't declare anything but sir bab kya kya jata hai aur kuch hua sir मोदी <laughs> Joining us to discuss that from outside BBC London is renowned UK NRI Lord Meghdoot Desai. <laughs> Now I want to warn you that the person who's pretending to be Meghdoot hasn't been Meghdoot for many years, so I don't know what's going to come out of that in terms of accent. And I apologise as an actor from a very poor uh, acting background. <laughs> Lord Meghdoot. Yes. So let's start talking about the economic situation in India. You see, India's economic growth is forecast to be six point five percent in the next fiscal compared to seven uh, percent. Sorry, uh, just the hair is distracting me. It looks a little different. I wanted to actually talk about the Indian diaspora protesting outside the BBC over another issue. Oh yes, yes. These Indian diaspora. Are a bit cross with the BBC. That's apparent. Herein lies the difference between the Indians and the BBC. And what would be this difference? Indians like being cross with the channel. The Brits like crossing the channel. <laughs> I'm enjoying your humour, but I'll go back to the anti-BBC protests. Yes, yes. It was a very interesting protest. I usually try and attend these kind of protests. Oh you yourself personally really how come? Because British Indians always have their priorities right. I'm going to repeat that uh, not because I want to kick out the episode but because I can't understand what you're saying. British Indians always have their priorities right. By that I mean they will always plan very carefully and carry all the essentials uh essentials such as protest signs megaphones placards that kind of thing no i mean like thepla khandvi and dhoklas not the parsi demonstrators i don't think they'll be comfortable with all this uh but please i believe they were also shouting slogans violent slogans yes they get very creative with their protests really they borrow ideas quite heavily from lenin marx stalin No, from Sanjay Leela and Bansali, also a Marxist. If you see the films, but what do you think of British Indians objecting to a British TV channel over an Indian Prime Minister? The same as British non-Indians objecting to a British Parliament having an Indian Prime Minister. Complete waste of time. 
He, he's not Indian. He's just Indian by race. He's not Indian, all right? But why do you find that British Indians who hold a British passport, who in all probability haven't even been born in India in the first place, why do they get so patriotic about an issue like this? Because I think having settled away from home and made their fortunes, they really want to do something, something for the benefit of Indians. Really? How? By donating money? By helping the downtrodden? Charity? What? Not at all. By cheering at an India-England cricket match. Cheering what? Jeete ga, bhai jeete ga. India jeete ga. So patriotic. As opposed to what we say in India, where we say Jitega by Jitega, Hindustan Jitega. The translation is in that one word. That's the difference between the NRI and us. So, do you think the NRI Indian really loves India? It's all Shosha. How does one prove that? No, I mean, uh, would a British Indian want to leave the UK forever and then return to India? I don't think so. They wouldn't themselves want to leave the UK forever and return to India, but they will fight. For the Kohinoor to leave the UK forever and return to India. Or for Vijay Malia to return to India. <laughs> so finally, what would you say about the Indian NRI? I mean, personally again? Just that NRI now has a different meaning. So it's not non-resident Indian, is it? Yes, NRI. Non-reliable Indian. <laughs> Why do you have to repeat again NRI? Why can't we just say non-reliable Indian? Are you challenging my capacity to speak in the English language? <laughs> Why do you repeat everything and just go on and on for hours like that? It's unnecessary, brother. Unnecessary. <laughs> Be careful, Megdut. I'm watching you. You Indian trying to teach me English, rubbish. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, we're going back to Mr. Mathos Ji, a uh, very important member of uh, our studio. <laughs> Mathos Ji, what else did you want from this year's budget? Again, please be open and candid here. Mutual funds, SIPs, insurance, equities. Yes, yes. What all to benefit the middle class? But you're hardly middle class, you're rich. You have four homes, three businesses, eight cars, 15 wives, 26 children. You see how tax is going, you know what you're doing. You're going to have four cars, three cars, four cars, how much money do you have here? You don't have to pay attention to your teenage mind. You don't have to pay attention to your teenage mind. I'm talking about you as a father. What are you doing? I mean, I'm just saying it's all hypocritical. You're stinking rich for God's sake. Stop saying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, middle class, middle class. What's your middle class have you? Get out of here, forget it. Now, let me get out of here. What do you think of your father? 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 How do you feel now? Look, you feel what I feel. Now you feel what I feel. That's my message to people in finance. Feel what we feel. What do you think of your father? What goes to your father? Okay, we need something to digest this terrible piece of humor that we've just seen. So I've chosen this from the archives. Uh, this is what we send for award shows, uh, and so far we've not won, but I don't know why. Take a look. Hi, friends. What did the cannibal say to the man in the hammock? What did the cannibal say to the man in the hammock? What? Breakfast in the bed. <laughs> what are you acting? Don't act. See, you didn't understand the joke. You would explain the joke to me. I know you flicked the joke. Explain the joke to the viewers. What does the joke mean? What does the joke mean? What did the cannibal say? Don't say it again. But what does it mean? What does breakfast in bed mean? <laughs> no, don't make faces, Baba. Tell me honestly. You don't understand the joke. No. What did the cannibal say to the man in the hammock? Breakfast in bed. So what does breakfast in bed mean? I don't understand. You don't understand. What does a cannibal do? What does a cannibal do? Cannibal kya hota? Cannibal. Cannibal is someone who eats human beings. A human being who eats other human beings is a cannibal. You know that? So now you understand the joke? He's a cannibal. The other guy's in the bed. Right? He looks at him and says, breakfast in bed. Matlab, that's his breakfast. Do you understand? Yeah. So what's the joke? Well, since it's been the budget week, we've decided that we're going to sell that product. We're going to sell that product at a reasonable rate. And by reasonable, I mean, I'm even thinking for the first time in market dynamics, we will pay you to buy the product. You just put your hand up and then we will start supplying money to you. So it's opposite of IPL auction, if you know what I mean. It's like an auction where we are actually selling and you are buying simultaneously and the money is going from us and the person is going from us. It's like having a really ugly bride, really. Not that I know anything about that. I mean, what do I, I wouldn't know that. I have a very pretty, very pretty. Yeah. I will show a picture of my wife. I don't show that. Show Katrina Kaif. First time, I'm shareholder. 18% share me. Yes! Yes! That we'll see as we go along. Far burnout hote malar chhe. Main aisa bolega to ho jayega. Start, start, start. Aap bata ho kya chahiye tere ko. Any theplas karo. Shh. 
बस हो गया यू डोंट नो अंत में सॉरी एंड रिजल्ट को क्या बोले उर्दू में